I currently have a delicious trailer on. It is filled with Cambridge chocolate. And it's got me thinking, if I pulled into a lay-by and I consumed, well, we'll, we'll say a reasonable amount, a, a pallet, a pallet of chocolate, um, and then I got to where I'm delivering it to, and I go onto the Weybridge, technically the weight is still the same as when I left. So they would never notice. That's what kids call a life hack. Hello, welcome, I am Big Daddy. This is Except for Access, that is my new truck the inside of it let's just get into it so for them people who are like wait what you have a new truck i have two things to say to you firstly you clearly don't follow me on instagram and you definitely need to because if you did you would know that i've got a new job and secondly i have a new job so yeah i've joined a little company called mae transport in barrow and they are very, very, very little. They've only got three trucks, in fact. It's a little family-run company, so it's, it, it's definitely where I wanted to be. And work-wise, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I'm currently running a curtain cider over to Liverpool at the moment, but I think um, in the future, it'll be mostly fridge work and uh, running food products around. And I'm super excited to work with this company because right now, I'm just bouncing around the UK, but in the future, there are gonna be some amazing places to go to, and I am very, very excited to go to them. Really excited. Um, it's gonna be properly awesome. But right now, this trailer needs to go to Liverpool Docks, so let's gun it and get it there as soon as we can do, in an eco way, because uh, we do need to watch the mouse pick out We're not having to go on way bridges with this. We're gonna have to give a number to let them know what I'm delivering. Well, how are we doing, sir? Not too bad, you. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. What's inside? Doesn't say. Yeah, it's uh, stuff, pallets of stuff. How heavy it is, roughly? About that heavy. About that heavy. Haven't a clue. There's no information on these things. Alright, uh, what's your surname? Uh, I can tell you that at least, that's good. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid. I know there's black to remember what to take off and stuff like that. But I can remember what it stands for. So I remember Break a Leg Susie. Breaks, Legs, Susie's. And don't forget the license plate, dum dum. <laughs> Something interesting I found is you have to take this off and keep it with you because a lot of the trailers don't have them. Apparently, well, what I've heard is the tugs can rip them off sometimes. So they don't like them traveling with them. It's all good, keep it in the footwell. Three points of contact as always. These are weird. These are a European style of Susie, or air connector. And I've learned, <laughs> admittedly by mistake, that if you just lift this off, it just pisses out air. <laughs> so don't do that. So you've got to take, you've got to check this off first. Then you can take off your connector. Not all of them have it, I've found. Some of them have still got the traditional British style. But uh, a good majority of them don't. Oh, come on. I keep second guessing myself when taking this stuff off because the trailers I've pulled previously 
I've all had PTO hoses, at least one of them, some of them have had two. So I keep thinking, oh crap, I've, I've messed some up here. <laughs> <laughs> the only place I could find to put this is in here. If I can bloody get the bugger out. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, I might not want to get it out. Uh, there we go. Easy as that. Yeah, don't forget the license plate, dum dum. Have I got everything? Yes, I have. I still have to, it's still not come second nature to us yet. I think it'll take a little while for that to kind of kick in. And I can immediately feel that it hasn't self-leveled. Yeah, that's doing it now. Okay. Right, that's that trailer dropped, so let's go and pick up the next one. Right, we're here at Stena Line. I want to be in that right lane, the unaccompanied freight drop-off and collection. Um, oh, now I don't know what my number's going to be. Your destination. I know, I've reached my destination, I can see it. Um, your destination. Yes, I'm still aware I've reached my destination. I appreciate you telling me that, uh, but I can tell that. Right. High visibility jackets must be worn beyond this point. I was here yesterday and there was a nice, very nice person I dealt with. Let's see if this works it's nicer. Now then, how are we doing? Oh, come forward a little bit. Trailer DFDA 1952. God damn, it's a long trailer number, but it can't be that, can it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, so you go on in and collect it, and it's sitting in lane D for Delta. Lane Delta, thank you very much. All good. Right. As you see, this is all proper Liverpool, that's directly in front of us. It is a nice looking city. I like Liverpool. I was here yesterday and I was dropping off. I was dropping off a trailer and I dropped off in a numbered area, but I want to look for D for Delta. Lord. They're a bit aggressive them, aren't they? What have we got? We've got F, K, D. <laughs> it looks like there's like nothing on D. So I should be able to find it pretty easily. What is all of that D? Oh, that is not a great sign. So this is row D. There is nothing on D at all. <laughs> I wonder if there's stuff at the end is D. Or does D continue somewhere? I am. I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this is awkward. I'll just turn around so you guys can see. I'm definitely 100% sure it's not in D. Because there's nothing in D. <laughs> Am I being thick here, or is there literally nothing in, like, D doesn't continue somewhere, does it? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I, th I don't know if I've cocked up or not. I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure this is not my cock up. <laughs> Let's go and ask the nice lady. There's nothing in D. Addiction to the yard. 
Any idea where it could be then? Or do I just have to go for a bit of a search? Superb. I'll back up here. Oh dear. I'm not sure if you heard that or not, but... Um... <laughs> oh, the week continues. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard that. But uh, there's a chance it's been shunted somewhere else. It could be anywhere. They don't know where it is, essentially. I'm just going to have to have a drive around and see if we can find it. <laughs> oh no! No! Right, well, let's work this out. DFD, surely that's going to be a D DFDS trailer. Yeah? Right. That's a 1001-985. So, in theory, in theory, I'm looking for the same sort of trailer. So it's been nearly 10 minutes according to the camera timer. <laughs> And I'm beginning to lose the uh, the will to live. Um, if it's not here, I, I, I don't know where it would be. What's that? That is not it. What's that? DFTA one thousand nine five. DF. DA 1,000, That's it! Woohoo! We found our trailer! And it's got proper hose connectors on it. It's the little things you've got to get excited about in this job. Let's have a quick backup. We might just wind down the window so we can see just a little bit better. I want to get nice and straight onto it. We don't want to come at it at an angle. Because that would be a bad idea. And what we're also going to do as well is we're going to drop the suspension down. Again, we don't want to catch the back of the trailer as we, or the front of the trailer with the back of the lorry. There you go. Just double check we're connected. Yes, we are. Let's get the legs down, we'll get on our way. To buy the fireplace with Big Daddy. Uh, that's the title I'm going with now, by the way. And if you're new here, uh, I'm not actually allowed an actual fire um, within the truck. Um, health and safety. Sean L UK asks, why did you leave Dents? He actually said, yeah. Why did ya leave Dents? When I created this segment, I did want to answer all questions, not just the ones that I liked or um, I felt benefited me in some way or uh, I, I felt like even even people who leave negative comments still des deserve um, uh, a voice as such and I wanted to answer anything and everything really. At the same time, I don't like speaking badly about companies that I've worked for because I don't think it's fair especially if one person has wound me up in such a way that I felt a requirement to leave because um, I don't want it to affect the entire company and everyone that's that's there I think I'll, I'll be tactical with it and I'll just say I I wasn't overly impressed and I felt um, I felt it time to move on <laughs> we'll leave it at that 
Scotty says another great video. The missus should get a feature piece once. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It might be an idea. I, I, I don't know how that would work. Scotia says, I know what you mean read blue light vehicles, but 999 crews don't want you to move over. They're trained to get through traffic. I would posit that they do want you to move over. Um, if you sit there blocking traffic, they will sit behind you with the sirens blaring. Doggy Driver UK says, although the snow plow is a brilliant idea, I'm sure you'll make you millions. Why not design a clock that's connected to some sort of sensor that can show you the exact speed you're doing by looking at it, like a meter for speed? It's a stupid idea, I don't think that'll work. Andrew says, good evening, can I just say that my with my overspeed, my TomTom 6200 sat-nav, I can put my speed into it and when one mile an hour over it beeps, find that very helpful. Um, I don't have that TomTom, -tom. I think I've got the, the newer version of it as such. Um, I'm going to look into that because that actually sounds quite interesting. Um, that would actually be really good. Cloudmaker says, bloody hell that was some wait, my longest has been nine and a half hours waiting to tip. Amateur. Um, by the way, go and check out Cloudmaker's channel. Just go into YouTube, type in Cloudmaker. He's got some really good videos on there. Go and give him some subscribers. James Ross says, We Yorkshireman Trucking does over 2,000 miles most weeks. It's a doddle. Well, We Yorkshireman Trucking can kiss my... John Fawcett says, Hey Tom, this week's question, where is the best Greggs in the UK? Um, they're all pretty good. I don't want to select one out, but if I'm going to select one out, I would say in the garage at Lancaster Northbound, there's a lad in the morning who crisps up the bacon. It is delicious. Um, he is the bacon king. Kevin says, I'm with you on the smaller firm thing. I had it with Banks Grain before they got taken over by Frontier Agriculture. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the smaller companies. Um, smaller family-run companies one of the reasons why i picked this company out i've come to now i may um yeah that's it for by the fireplace with big daddy if you've got any comments any questions anything like that leave them down below i'll try and get around to them probably going to how my week's been so far today has been great um, I have done some good trucking today but many miles down very happy with it yesterday on the other hand was an unmitigated disaster <laughs> um, yeah we'll go with that that seems that seems like it's pretty much hit the nail on the head now what went wrong yesterday can be broken down into two different categories the paperwork and me and I'm not going to get bogged down with the percentages of who did what and who misread what paperwork. The result was chaos and not enough trucking being done. And bless him, the company have been lovely about it. <laughs> um, which is good because I do, uh, although coming from tipping and bulk work over to this is very different. I, I did want this week to go a little smoother than it did yesterday, but it's okay, because we've moved on, we're next day, we're all good, we're in our zen space. And being in the zen space is good, because this job feels a lot more chilled out. It's not, it's not like being on tippers, where you're constantly pushing your times, trying to max everything out, trying to max your weight, your times, being on the limiter all the time. Today, I've well, in fact, this week, I've been eco-driving, and it's it's nice to get back into the eco-driving again. It's uh, it's nice just to watch things just kind of drift on by, and you just you're in your own little lane, you're doing your thing, you're just watching your speeds, you're trying to you're trying to eke out every single little bit of fuel that you can do. And I quite enjoy doing stuff like that. I don't wrong. I enjoy um, the the tip of work where you're constantly pushing on, the, the, but it's a lot more relaxing. It's a lot easier going, a lot less stressful. And something else I quite like is the fact that my footwell isn't a mud pit. Now, 
I can't take my shoes off getting into the cab because I have enormous feet, size 16s in fact. So there isn't enough space down there to put them. And the, the result is bringing mud into the cab. And at the sides that you're on with BTs and dents, it meant the footwell was just a swamp most of the time. Um, I once did a video of me installing an air duster and during it I showed part of my footwell and some, <laughs> someone put the vomit emoji which was a bit harsh but understandable I guess. few reservations getting this job because I wasn't sure if I was going to get that same banter that you get um, on tippers on roll and walking floors and I didn't know if I, I didn't know if you're going to still have them same interactions and um, still have a bit of diversity going on as well but I've been quite pleasantly surprised in fact so far actually loving the job don't be wrong, there are still computers that you're using on some sites where um, all you do is type a number in and you just kind of go and drop the trailer. But from what I've seen so far, you're interacting with proper people. And it's, yeah, you're still getting great banter. The office staff are absolutely amazing, proper nice people. Um, yeah, I, I, I think, um, my, my nerves have been resolved so I'm, I'm quite happy now and um, yeah I'm excited for another week to see what happens we'll, uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see if we can smash it next week hopefully no mistakes <laughs> we shall see okay so I do want to have a little bit of a moan just a little moan about a few things just three just three things but still I, I feel like I just need to get a few things off my chest so firstly, the Bluetooth, and yes, I know I'm being picky with this, but it really has bothered me this week. The Bluetooth connects your phone up, but not music. So I've had to have headphones in all week, and I know that's not end of the world stuff, but I don't know, I just like, I like listening to it on there. And one other thing with the Bluetooth, what on earth is with this Captain Scarlet style microphone? I also don't like this stupid sun visor, because I have to duck to see the motorway signs. I know I'm gangly and tall and that's partially my fault, but still, I wanted it removed, but we can't remove it because the running lights are embedded into it and we can't take it off, which is frustrating. And finally, there is no back warmer in this seat. I know that's picky in a first world problem, but I'm over 30 now. I'm trying to get old and decrepit. I need a back warmer, my back hurts. All right, that's it. Moaning over. I won't moan again. I promise you. It, I won't moan again. I promise. We're just going to get on. We're going to drive without a back heater. I really miss my back heater. Right, well thank you very much for watching uh, that's the end of the vlog uh, if you haven't already make sure you click subscribe and the little bell notification so you know when i've uh, uploaded a new video uh, click the like button unless you didn't like it then don't click it you can click the dislike it's up to you it's your preference uh, obviously if you've got to the end of the video i would suspect you probably liked it so you know it's your choice i'm not gonna tell you what to do and don't forget to leave a comment for by the fireplace with big daddy and we shall see you next time